Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make a realistic ocean in a bottle for ship in a bottle builders. This is a very easy process. We're going to use an epoxy casting resin in addition to some silicone, both clear uh, and white, and some blue paint uh, to create a realistic ocean in a bottle. And these are perfect for ship in a bottles. Uh, we've been using the same uh, technique and process for over 30 years. The oceans that we made 30 years ago still look just as good as the day that they were poured. The process starts with a uh, epoxy casting resin, and you can pick this up at any uh, arts and crafts store. You want to pour out the approximate amount that you're going to use uh, for the bottle that, of your choice. I mix in a little bit of blue paint and, of course, the hardener. And that has to get stirred you know, for a couple of minutes. You can regulate how transparent uh, this epoxy casting resin is uh, just by how much blue paint you had. Uh, the more uh, blue paint, the more opaque it would be. I'm also going to use a funnel attached to a clear tube. I, I just duct tape them to uh, the two of those together. And you can get the, the funnel and the tubing at Home Depot or any hardware store. What's nice about this is you can very quickly add a decent volume um, of ocean uh, into any bottle. Uh, any bottle. The same technique can be used for a horizontal bottle as well as a vertical bottle. You're just going to pour in the desired amount. Once that's done, I, I basically just let the drip slow down to a point where I can then just pull that tubing out without dripping uh, any of the epoxy onto the bottle. And then I set that aside for a good 24 hours to dry. Once it's dry, we're going to uh, add a little bit of the same blue into clear silicone. Uh, don't use white uh, white silicone at this point. Use clear. It, it colors better. Uh, if you use it on the white, it just becomes a very, very light blue. Um, the casting resin does not adhere very well to the bottle. So if, if I turn that bottle upside down and gave it a tap, that entire bed of epoxy casting resin would actually fall free from the bottom of the bottle. So we're going to use this silicone not only to create the waves, but also to attach that epoxy to the bottle. Now I'm using a tool uh, that's just fashioned out of a bent coat hanger and I'm going to take little spoonfuls of this um, silicone and dab it onto the epoxy. And what I'm doing is I'm just using that tool to push that um, silicone until it touches the edge of the glass. So that silicone is actually um, adhered to not only the epoxy casting resin, but also the edge of the glass. And you have to do that all the way around uh, the complete diameter. This is a, a fairly slow process, but it's nowhere near as slow as if you had to add the complete volume um, to this bottle. There are many different techniques of adding oceans, uh, you know, for shipping a bottle building. Uh, this is just one of, the, one of the easiest ones that I've found and, and certainly with the best results. And very quickly, you'll learn how much you can, uh, how much of that silicone you can apply to your uh, coat hanger and get it through the neck without getting uh, any of the silicone on the glass. Once you've covered the comp complete diameter and, and touched the glass all the way around, you can create waves with that same blue silicone, and you could even create, um, you know, larger swells. And you can use that same tool uh, to kind of create the tips of the waves or, or smooth them out. Use your artistic ability here. After the blue uh, is in the bottle, and, and in addition, you do have to leave a flat area, usually towards the middle of the bottle, for where you're going to add the, the ship. If you do get any of that blue silicone onto the bottle, you can use that same coat hanger. Just tape a little uh, paper towel to it and wipe the silicone off. I would go in a second time also with a coat hanger and just really scrub that area to make sure that all of that grease and all of that smudge is completely gone. But don't worry if you get any of it on the glass, it, it can be very quickly and easily removed. The next step is going to be to add a little bit of clear silicone. And this is just used to add, um, to add a little bit of transparency onto maybe the top of each wave. And again, your artistic creativity comes to play here. 
the final step is going to be add a little bit of uh, white silicone. Um, I usually dab it in the middle where the ship is going to be um, placed and then I just use that as a reservoir and I add a little bit of white to the, to the tips of each wave creating little white caps. In addition you are eventually going to add some white to the middle and that's what's going to hold the ship in place. The ship will be placed directly into that uh, wet white silicone. Here's some samples of the finished product for a variety of different uh, size bottles as well as different types of ships. And once again, a very easy way of creating realistic waves uh, for building ships in a bottle. For additional inf information on building ships in bottles, please refer to the book uh, by Captain Dan Berg, Build a Ship in a Bottle. Uh, or check out his latest book, which is called Shipwreck in a Bottle. Now, both of which detail the entire process of building these miniature craft. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Please check out our other how-to videos. And I asked if you like this video to please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.